Have you ever wondered, how do I program my mind for prosperity when there are so many things around me telling me there's not enough, that it's chaotic, that it's stressful? How do I do that? Hi guys, this is Adis Boucher, the new Money Mama. I'm recording you a quick video to tell you how to program your mind. So some of you know that I grew up in a roach infested apartment when we immigrated to the United States. And during that time that we lived there, my father said, one day we're going to be rich. One day we're going to be rich. This is temporary. We're on our way up. And I would look around at the thousands of cockroaches and ask myself, how is that going to be? How's that supposed to happen? Sometimes do you have things around you? Maybe it's not cockroaches, maybe it's debt collectors, maybe it's stress in your marriage, maybe it's pressure from clients or from coworkers. Do you ever have those constant reminders that tells you, you know, there's limitation to my happiness. There's limitation to my prosperity. Okay, so here's a quick rundown of how we program ourselves for happiness and success. Our minds, since we were young, were programmed by our senses. So the way that we learn to talk, walk, feed ourselves, etc., was through feeling things, seeing things, listening to things. We would smell things and know that there were cues for things. We learned what was yummy and what was not through our taste. We learned to communicate what we wanted by what came out of our mouth. So these senses were so important to get us to where we are today. The thing is that once we're adults, we think, ah, oh, you know, it's good for preferences. You know, what color I prefer, what uh, music I prefer. We forget that our mind is still being programmed by these senses. Think of your sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch as conveyor belts. They're sending messages to your brain. If you are feeding your eyes with constant news feed from social media or constant news about current events, that's one that is telling you that things might not be in order, that things might not be stable. What are you taking in with your eyes? Now, if, if it's just that, it might not be so bad, but what is on the conveyor belt to your hearing? What kind of music are you listening to? What kind of audio are you listening to? What noises are going on in your home? What noises are you surrounded with in your commute or as you're going around your community? What smells have you been taking in regularly? It sounds silly, but isn't it interesting that our smell is the quickest way to memory? We may not be conscious of every memory our nose is triggering or starting to build on, but it is an in integral part of our mindset. What kind of foods are you taking in? Do they bring delight? Are they healthful? Do they bring us energy? What about the things that are coming out of our mouths? What words are you using to describe your situation or yourself? Well, as far as what you're feeling, is your home comfortable? Do you have a safe place to sleep? How are people touching you? Are you devoid of touch? These are just some of the examples of um, ways to consider what is on the conveyor belt to your brain. So have you taken inventory lately of what's on those conveyor belts? Let's say you want to program yourself for success. Well, when I wake up, I may look at my vision board. I may take a look at scriptures at inspiring words. I love color. I like order, so I will make my bed really loosely, but it is colorful. I go into my closet and I have colors to choose from and I pick what color I feel I need that day. Some things that help me feel prosperous is to see my refrigerator, my fruit basket, my pantry are well stocked. It just makes me feel like everything's okay and there's more than enough. Let's talk about what I listen to. Positive books, positive speeches, positive music. These are the things that help me feel surrounded by people who think like me or Maybe they don't think exactly like me, but we have similar values. We believe that prosperity is everywhere and it's available to everyone who will align with it. For smell, I will use some essential oils like frankincense or rose to lift my mood to help me feel prosperous. Okay, let's take the things that make me feel successful. 
I wear clothes that feel comfortable, that stretch with me, that's flexible. I like to be able to move around, but still look nice and vibrant. And then what are the words that are coming out of my mouth? Do I feel like, ooh, it's a beautiful day. Things are getting better. Wow, baby, thank you so much. Are we expressing gratitude? Are we expressing love? Are we expressing appreciation? Use your words. They also engage your ears, not just by hearing yourself on how you speak, but hearing how others are attracted to what you're saying. It's not the same for everybody. You gotta figure out what's good for you. We don't get what we want. We get who we are. We get what we're aligned to. We get what we focus on. So in order to shift our focus, we've got to change what things we're sending into our mind and then our mind will know what to focus on. There's a part of our brain that's called the reticular activator and it will take what you are learning, what you're surrounding yourself with, and it will point out to you the things that align with it. Okay guys, so I just want to remind you, well, everything in the world that seems chaotic or unstable or uncertain, you don't know what's gonna happen, you still have ownership over how you perceive the world, what you think about, what you feel you can put out into the world, how far you feel you can go or how much you are able to attract into your life. You have ownership over that. Now, be gentle with yourself. You might kick yourself and say, oh, I should have known better. I should have known better to read good books. I should have known better to listen to different kind of music. I should have known better to hang out with different people. The thing is, it, it, it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. And it, it, it all ties into earlier programming in our lives. It's something that I cannot fit in this one video. So what we can do is start with today. Start to reprogram and consciously choose the things that are coming into the conveyor belt into your mind through the different senses, through the different senses. Start to send as many messages as you can that align with what you desire, that align with the type of person you want to become, that align with the type of life you are desiring to build. This is not woo-woo. This is psychology. We are what we think about. We create our perspective. We design and view and notice what's in our world based on what we're thinking. So choose what you're thinking. The $600 billion advertising industry in this world is choosing what they want you to think about. They want you to think about them, about purchasing them, about hiring them, about owning part of their products. You can take the same science they're using and brainwash yourself to at least the things you like. If the advertising industry is going to do what they do with billboards and radio and product placement and whatever, social pressure, choose to brainwash yourself with the things that are important to you. All right, that's my quick message for today. This is Adise Boucher, the new Money Mama, reminding you life is rich. And so are you.